what do some of you see as maybe the big drivers behind how do you think we've kind of gotten here today? I'd like to sort of um, come in here in terms of the, the interesting aspect of balance and imbalance and, and the drivers of where we've got to today, if we connect those. Because mm-hmm. I think what, I, what we've done is we've obviously overexploited the, you know, overexploited the planet. Um, capitalism has gone to way too far and extreme, so the poverty gap is getting huge. But we can't just bring it back into balance because I think, you know, that's the difference between capitalism and socialism. This is where the whole vertical shift comes into play, where we have to transcend what's going on, the old Einstein thing. You know, we can't solve problems at the level they were created. So I think the new balance is almost like a whole new order. Um, and, and the drivers are going to be, if we don't do anything, we're going into chaos. And the people movements are going to turn into huge revolutions um, if we can't have enough leadership capacity to embrace the whole and re-engineer and reignite and reinvent, you know, the whole socioeconomic order. Mm. Yeah, great point. I would add. Sorry, go ahead, Ronan. I think. No, no, you go ahead, please. I'm probably going to say something very similar. I think there's uh, there's so many threads that have kind of led us here, and some of them are some of those seeds were sown so far, so long ago. I mean, it's there's so much masculine energy in the corporate worlds, and that, um, and I don't mean that as male versus female. I mean just that energy and that sense of achievement and what does that mean to have that single outcome of profit like you were saying way with you know how do we measure what we what our output is and so everything has become sweat the assets get it to the bottom line and then we've had this other thread moving along as well which is technology and we value technology because we know technology has the ability to produce profit Mm -hmm. and so now you can't invest in anything unless there's technology behind it so unless mm. you're building a platform, I'm sure Ronan, you've been there, you know, <laughs> it's not a thing unless it's got a platform behind it. So I think there's those threads that are coming together as well. And I, I'm going to hand over to you now because I'm, I'm sure it's going to be uh, another thread. No, I was just I was going to talk about the same thing, Joanne, around that. I think what we traditionally viewed as success uh, has been re- reevaluated, and I think that's a great point to start. Um, if we reimagine what actually success looks like for an organisation, I, I think that will that that's a starting point into the conversation. I feel around you know we we valued profit or we valued uh, that above everything else, and I think you know and Antoinette talked about uh, the, the capitalist driver being the only definition definition of success, and if if that's the driver, well then. Um, the behavior supports that. I had a wonderful conversation with a gentleman called Tom Griffin uh, the other day, and he talked about what, what, what is culture in an organization. And he said, it's the behavioral expression of the commercial strategy of an organization. I think that needs to change. Yeah. That's a great statement. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It does. It, I mean, it is a, I think it's an interesting point that, that you've all kind of raised here. You know, I, you see, when you see the commodification of everything, you put a price on everything. Um, uh, it becomes very, it becomes a slippery slope very quickly towards, you know, devaluing some of these things that, you know, we, we really can't place a, a tangible value on. Like we, you know, I don't think that's really possible.